diazepam. So anytime you hear the zepam suffix, you're thinking benzodiazepine. Okay, so trade name of diazepam is Valium. The indication for this medication, there's actually quite a bit uh, that this medication can do. But first of all, it's anxiolytic, so it's given for anxiety, pre-op sedation, conscious sedation, treatment of seizures, insomnia, and management of alcohol withdrawal. So it's given for a lot of different reasons. Now let's talk about some of the actions and why it can do all of these things, okay? So it's action, first of all, well, it depresses the CNS, okay? It's a GABA receptor modulator, and what that really means is it decreases the difference between the resting potential and the action potential, and this makes firing less likely, okay? Which really means that it kind of just depresses our CNS, right? It does a couple other things, too. It affects the voltage-gated sodium channels, which help in the treatment of seizures, Okay, it also as a muscle relaxant inhibits the polysynaptic pathway in the spinal cord, which can help with uh, muscle relaxant, and it increases the inhibitory effects in the cerebral cortex. Okay, so it does quite a bit of things. But what you really need to keep in mind is kind of it's just depressing our overall central nervous system, our CNS. So its therapeutic class is anti-anxiety agent, anti-convulsive, sedative, hypnotic, skeletal muscle relaxant. Uh, central acting okay so it really does a lot of things uh you will you will give this and you'll have patients who take this some patients take it just to help with insomnia um if you have a patient who's awake and, and able to swallow and things you can give them some valium to help with anxiety and then it can be given a lot in in like a surgery center or, or in a or setting for pre-op sedation or for like ir things like that it can be given for conscious sedation Pharmacologic class, like we've talked about, is benzodiazepine, okay? Nursing considerations, it's going to be contraindicated with hepatic dysfunction. You're going to want to use caution with renal impairment. It can cause dizziness, drowsiness, lethargy, hypotension, physical dependence, and tolerance. Uh, remember, it has these physical dependence characteristics, so you want to use caution in patients who may have physical dependence issues. Uh, and, and because it's a central nervous system uh, relaxant, uh, it, remember, it can cause this dizziness, the drowsiness, lethargy, hypotension. So we really want to be monitoring our patient's vital signs prior to and during uh, therapy. You want to take, instruct the patient to take it as directed, okay? You want the patient to use a lot of caution if, they're, if they drink alcohol. This can cause this disulfram-like reaction. So you really don't want to mix Valium with alcohol. So one of the really important thing to keep in mind here is that if the patient overdoses or if they take too much of this or if you need to reverse this, what is the antidote? It is Ramazicon or Flumazenil, okay? That's the medication you need to have handy and you make sure it's stocked on your floor if you're giving patients a lot of Ativan or Valium and, and these other benzodiazepines. So really important to keep in mind, you're not going to be using Narcan for this. You're going to be using Ramazicon. And it will come with instructions on how to, how to supply it, how to give it, uh, but use a lot of caution. Give the Valium and make sure you're monitoring vitals. Make sure you have Ramazicon available. That is Valium or diazepam. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.